Hey guys, welcome to Crafts by Doty. We are always excited to have you on our channel. And if you're new here, feel welcomed. We do post weekly videos on woodwork projects and home deco DIYs. If you're interested in such content, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. On today's project, we will be recreating this Pinterest inspired scallop scrolly mirror. Details on where we drew the inspo from will be linked on the description box below. We started off the project by printing the template on an A3 size paper, then traced it down on a piece of MDF board using carbon papers. Once done with tracing, we removed the printout and this is our scalloped pattern. We then repeated over with a pencil to make the drawing more distinct. We then took our piece of work to the miter saw and trimmed off the excess MDF board. Once we had a manageable size of the MDF board, we went in with the Makita scroll saw and cut around all the exterior parts. We did unbox this Makita scroll saw about 6 months ago, so if you want to learn more about the scroll saw, please check on the description box below to find out the video. We did promise to share with you a number of projects using the Makita scroll saw, but we were not able to do so since we broke most of our blades while practicing with it. It's been a real hassle getting new ones, however with the ones that we have, we'll be sharing something with you. So once we were done with trimming off the exterior part, we drilled pilot holes on the inner section. While doing this, we kept on changing the drill bit depending on the size of the inner section. The purpose of the pilot holes is to allow the scroll saw blade to go in and slice off the inner sections. You can be able to see the different size of holes on the pattern. We decided to go in with a jigsaw on the parts that were wide enough to help us save on the scroll saw blades for the tiny inner sections. This is how our pattern looks like with the bigger section sliced off. For our next step, we will be trimming off the smaller sections. We will do that by inserting our blade on the pilot holes and tightly securing it in place. For the better part of the project, we will be rotating our pattern on the scroll saw blade and shifting the blade to a different pilot hole to cut off all the smaller sections.
this is how a piece of work looks like with all the inner sections sliced off Our next step involves sanding down the interior and exterior edges. This is to enable us to have a smooth finish by getting rid of blade marks and the imperfect cuts. We went through the process by attaching a sander on our Dremel flex shaft. If you don't have one, just choose a 200 grit sandpaper. It works pretty well. Next we went in with our paint and did a number of coats sanding in between each coat until we attained the smooth finish. We then attach a mirror that we already had using super glue. Our scalloped scrolling mirror is all done. We are really impressed with the turnout and excited to have such a pretty piece in our home. We tried to style this piece and discovered that it can create a very beautiful centerpiece on your coffee table. You can also tilt it in various angles to create a desired effect. That's it guys for today's project. If you're new on our channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. Thanks for clicking into Crafts by Doty. We will see you on our next video. Until then, stay safe.